So routines with putting, I have a lot of kids that come in um, and let's say the putting's not going good at a particular time and they want kind of like a quick fix mechanical thing. And sometimes there is a mechanical portion to it, but probably at, at least over half a, maybe over half the time that I test someone's skills and they have putting issues, they don't have any kind of consistent routine. Their routines are not good. Um, I don't think that you have to, there's no like perfect routine you have to do certain things. A lot of the best putters ever do different putting routines, but the point of it is that you do the same thing over and over and over. There's a lot of research um, and a lot of studies on human performance and the value of doing the same thing and letting that be subconscious, uh, like especially when they go play in tournaments and, and, and matches and stuff like that. When you're in a tournament and you don't have a set established routine and you're nervous or you're jacked up and you're going to take one putting stroke or two or three and then you go out of that subconscious sort of flow state into a very conscious thinking about what you're doing thing and the performance typically goes downhill. Yeah. Why don't you hit me from here to this hole and do your actual routine like you would do when you play? Okay. No right or wrong, just whatever you would do. Shoulders jacked up. Okay, two, three, I have a couple things to say to you. Okay. Um, one, your putting stroke looks great. Okay. Um, I think my view of you as a golfer and what you should be and do is like up here. Yeah. And yours is like here. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now I think it doesn't, like me telling you, dude, you're gonna be really good and your putting and full screen is all really, really good. Yeah. Doesn't do much until you actually see results. Yeah. Right? Like it yeah. doesn't m much matter. But I'm telling you for sure, I see a lot of really good players play. Your putting is, stroke is great. Okay. It's fantastic. There's nothing that should lead to bad speed putting. Right. Nothing your routine can. sucks. Yeah. That routine sucked. Yeah, okay. Especially if you're nervous okay. when you play. Stay there for a second. So that's gotta get better. When you're playing in matches and stuff and the putts actually mean something and you feel something, then your routine matters. The routine, the purpose of it is that you have some sort of comfort zone amidst like a feeling uncomfortable. Now what I saw you do was bend down, go up, you took one practice stroke, which was not even close to the actual size of stroke you would use for there, and your eyes were down at the ground. Yeah. None of that, I don't see any benefit from any of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you can't do that. Tiger, when he putted, really his eyes were down at the ground and took putting strokes. I don't like that at all. No. He made every fucking putt he needed to. So yeah. there's some, there's different ways to do it. But if your speed's off, we're not hitting close at hole. We're not doing that. And the amount of looks you had at the hole to me had no kind of purpose to it. Okay. And they were just, it, to me, seemed random. Okay. Which means if you have a putt when you're nervous, are you going to look one time, two times, yeah. four times? And how's it going to affect it? Here's what we're doing right away. I like this back here. You're reading it. I don't know if you visualized the putt at all during that time. I don't see when you could have right. done it. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Um, maybe that'll help, maybe it won't. But reading it from behind for sure uh you can take practice strokes back here or up here i'm going to make you do them up here for the time being i want you to take two strokes i want your eyes at the hole and i want you to feel out the speed with that okay. you can see the ball rolling as you do it see it rolling up to the hole and see it finishing by the hole that's optional but i want two practice strokes with eyes at the hole that are actual length of swing you would use okay. so let's read it first <clears throat> so go ahead bend down the whole thing so now you get your green read, so you pick your spot, looking at it, and now go ahead up next to the ball. Okay, I uh, pick a specific spot. Maybe Good right? question, optional. Okay. Some people do, some people see like just the general break, Yeah. but you can. You can, if it works for you, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Then go ahead up next to the ball, to the left of it. I want two practice strokes. I want your eyes at the hole the whole time, or looking at the line between this and the hole. I don't want them down at the ground at all. Okay. I feel a little weird in the beginning, but that's okay. That, that would never get there. All right. Eyes up. Feel it out. Good. So that would be two strokes. You just did two yeah. strokes, right? Now it was two out of sync. Come back and do it again. Read, your, read it again from back here. Now let's go up. Pick your spot up next to the ball. Two fluid strokes. Doesn't have to be perfect. Eyes up. Just make two fluid strokes. Keep your eyes up the whole time. Good. One. Two. Now put your eyes back down to the ball. Take your setup where you feel comfortable. We're going to do two looks at the hole. Here's one. See the ball rolling up, finishing the hole. Mm -hmm. Back down. One more. See it going in the hole. Back down. And now you execute. Okay. No, no shuffle. Do it again. Ah. Do it again. Back here. Oh. We got to do this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Same agree. thing. Yeah. Good. 
Two practice strokes, fluid, eyes are up the whole time. One, see the ball rolling up into the hole. Two, take your setup, eyes down. When you feel comfortable, right now, eyes up, one, see it going in, back down, up, see it going in, back down, now go ahead. Perfect. Now, I don't care about your execution, you hit that poorly. Yeah. I don't care about your execution for this part. I want that routine done every yeah. single time. I don't want you actually on the course thinking about your routine, yeah. but because it's new, you may have to do it a, a couple times. Okay. The point of the routine is just, just fluid. You right. just do it. There's nothing right. to it. But then when I'm nervous on the first hole of a tournament and it matters, I have that same thing yeah. or the last yeah. hole or nothing. It's got to be the same shit. Yeah. Same look, same everything. Do one more time for me, please. So we'll read it first. Kind of pick our spot, green read, good. Two practice strokes, now focusing on the speed. Sewing in some visualization of the ball going in the hole. One, two, eyes down, take your setup and get comfortable. Then when you feel comfortable, do our first look up. See the ball going in, back down. Second look up, back down, and then execute. Now the only question marks from here, your stroke's great, dude. Okay. The only question marks from here is like when you look up, how long? Do you look up before you go back down? Some guys have a long look and a stare. Some guys do it quick and go. I've putted my best under pressure. When my looks, there's a little bit of a stare mm -hmm. back because I could visualize better that way. It doesn't mean it's right. Mm -hmm. you do whatever you want, but you can you can mess with the time part. Yeah. But let's roll with that. Yeah. For right now, whenever you go putt. Okay. If you find and you forget to do it on one two hole, then start off do it. Start yeah. again. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool? Yeah. There's nothing I see here that would cause me to believe that you should putt poorly with speed control due to your mechanics. Do it. All right. Which means it's in here and then routine wise. Right. And then practice. Right. Cool? Okay. Good stuff. I'm going to grab this. We'll go back in. Well, I think one of the most telling things was they had a video, someone posted a video on YouTube or something of Tiger and it timed his putting routine from like, I forget the exact year, but it was like 1997. Like he was like an amateur, just came out to like 2004 and like 2010. And they timed it. And what he did was the exact same. So he read it. He did um, the putting strokes and the actual time to was like to one tenth of a second the same, and that's in completely different circumstances. That's what I think you should do. I think if you watch athletes in other sports, Olympic level athletes, very high performers, routine is a big part that they mention when they talk about it. And if you actually watch what they do, whether it's a pre-game routine or an actual pre, uh, what a pitcher does before he goes. I and mean, if you ever watch tennis and uh, Rafael Nadal, he does the same picking and this every single time. It drives me nuts, but he does the same thing over and over and over, same amount of ball bounces. So I think there's a lot to that. Um, put yourself in a state of performance, but just that you have something established, I think is the biggest part.